everyone. So this is my prompt for the word share. Um, when I was putting together this project, I kind of was trying to think of um, how I would want to share my art with others. And one of the ways that I came up with is um, to do some tiny art. So these are little um, shrines or little altars or little pieces of um, mixed media art in match boxes and I thought they would be really a neat little gifty or thing to leave um, like some found art and with little messages of inspiration and just loveliness. So that was kind of my take on my word. Um, and I thought I would just show you quickly what I gathered for this project and how I um, how I put it together. It's very easy. I had a um, little stash of these small match boxes and I just dumped out the matches um, into a jar. I'm gonna save those and use them later. Um, but these I got at the dollar store. So I got, I think you get like 12 packs of these for a dollar. And so um, I kind of deconstructed them by taking them apart. So I have both tops and bottoms. And I started, if you wanna just quickly do them, you can just use the um, little trays. Um, but they look really cool if you wanna cover the covers also. Um, I kind of went through my stash and my, my projects that I've been doing um, over the last month or so, and I kind of gathered all the tiny little bits that I had left over. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to think about what we would use um, some of those little scraps in, but they're so just nice to have and pretty. And so I, I grabbed out a small little stash of those, um, some vintage um, dictionary images are about the right size. So I kind of went through and just picked out a few little pieces that I was drawn to. And I have my tiny basket full of charms. I had some little pieces of found um, glass and paper, some moss. I had little tiny bottles with little flowers in them that I put together outside in my yard. Um, just things that I had left over, you know, charms, crystals, rocks, beads, buttons, um, little rusty bits. I love using rust in my, my art. Um, so yeah, this is my bowl. I kind of just brought everything together. I had some little scraps of fabric and I'm really gonna just put, quickly put these together. Um, I wanted to show you how I prep these little trays um, for kind of a, a an aged look or a little grungier look. I have some tea um, and rust uh, seeping here. Um, you could just use tea or coffee or um, anything that would just kind of give that um, aged effect. And I'm gonna use gesso, and I'm gonna use a little bit of um, baking soda for my kitchen, and I because I wanted to. Um, make these little boxes kind of feel stone-like or just have a little um, grit to them. Just makes them feel just so much more precious. So um, that's really easy. I just take a brush, um, usually a little smaller than this, but I really, I'm a messy artist and I'm just a very intuitive artist and I go for it. So I'll just sometimes just start on my pieces um, right on top of them. I don't really measure anything. And I'm gonna coat all these with this wonderful gesso mixture. Just real quickly, I wanna get all of the, all the sides. And I like to get the fronts and the backs. And yeah, I just sit and do a few of these at a time until I have just these cute little trays to work in. So it's kind of a nice thing to do, just do maybe a bunch of these at once. And again, I'm just gonna add it straight in there, just carefully, no measuring. And I just wanna fill that grit from the 
baking soda. So you get the idea with that. I'm gonna let that one dry a little. So that's just real quickly how I prep my um, little boxes. And I just kind of sorted through some little bits and pieces. So these were things I brought together, um, but I'll show you, like I have, I keep um, little, little um, boxes or bins of just leftover scraps. And you know, I'll just kind of go through and pull some things to use on these. There are a lot of experimenting and mark making, but I like having those. So I just got myself a small stack of those and I was just playing with, you know, what will fit in here. And I'm just going to quickly trim. Got a little base for my My little altar. I love that. And then this, you know, from this point, um, just finding the, the perfect little pieces to go in your in your tray. Um, it's just, you know, a back and forth and an experimentation. You know, and it takes some time sometimes. Some of them go together really fast and some of them a little more time consuming. I like to use like a, some fibers tucked in there behind something. You know, this cheesecloth can be really pretty. You know, just tucked, tucked like that. So I had pulled out, let's see, I had this little bead left over that I thought would look pretty. So that will look really pretty in there. And I kind of wanted to leave room. I like having these little book um, words that I cut out. And that was another thing, you know, to kind of go through your dictionary pages um, and just find words that, that speak to you and cut them out and have them um, in your basket ready to go. But I really liked that. I think that's gonna be a really cool one. Or let's see, this with the word on it, I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna take some um, matte medium. I like this gel matte. It's just a little thicker for these, this kind of assemblage. And I'm going to um, glue everything in. So I didn't glue that bottom piece, but it's in there pretty, pretty good. that out and I'm just gonna put a little dab of gel medium under there just to keep it nice and firm in there and then I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of gel medium with those fibers and kind of just work work them into it and I just love the messiness of it and being able to see all the interesting papers behind and so this bottle, now that I've got things and I'm kind of putting them together, I don't know if that's gonna, that's not gonna fit in there, but you might have one in your collection that would, that would fit in these boxes, or you might have a little bit bigger boxes to work with. So I think I'll maybe do that, and let's find one other little tiny interesting piece. That's a little too big. I really loved these little charms. You know, even just a piece of, tiny, tiniest piece of moss wrapped with some black um, thread is really pretty. I liked that one. So um, I had like this one had glass with a little book and I want to show you quickly like how I age with my aging solution to this. This has been sitting for a while um, so it's a little dark 
but that's what I would do to make sure that this had like a patina on it. So that would be that. Let's see if we can get this together. It gets together. So I have um, my needle and thread close by. And working quickly here, I'm just going to go through and just play with what, what works. You know, some matches are always really cool. Like this little rusty bit would be really neat um, stitch in there. Some different papers. Let's do one of the little charms. So I loved the way the fibers look. And I think I'm going to take um, a little piece of lace. Let's see if I had a little bit of lace left over in my... Something like that, maybe a little looser than that. And I had this piece. You know, and I'm really just thinking, you know, about this as I'm going. I'm just taking my little pieces and trying things out and see what feels, what sticks. Tack that in. And I think I'm trying to decide how I want that placed in there. I think I'm going to tack it um, on the side. So I'm going to poke my holes. Just my little foam here. And if you can't do it with your um, needle, if you have like an awl or a paper piercer, it does seem to go through a little quicker and easier. And that way you can see your holes from behind and just kind of go up through. I'm actually going to go down and then up and tie. And I'm not gluing this piece and I'm just gonna rely on the thread to hold it into the box. And again, I'm just gonna go down and up through. Hopefully I have enough thread on this. And I love like just messy and like um, very raw. So I'm not super worried about like if the strings are hanging out or things are getting a little bent. I can come back in and fix it. I love that. It's a little symbol, my favorite number on this one. And it just kind of came together. I'm gonna do a quick um, aging because I didn't do it. So you can do this part anytime. So if you forget to do it and let them dry, you can go back in. And... So I love that. 